when, when, when Mr. Gallia landed on home ground, Dr. Marisa Farouja seemed to be, have been sidelined. This is what was seen from GFB. No, I don't, I don't see what, what you're driving at. I mean, I've been reading about this for quite, for, for, you know, in many, many, many papers. I mean, the, she was the first one to come down from the plane. I mean, there are photos of her being congratulated by the Prime Minister himself. Um, then she came up to me, and I knew because, uh, I mean, together with the Permanent Secretary, we had, been, we had been involved for days, you know, exchanging information, data, giving instructions. I mean, it was a very emotional moment, I, I, can, I can tell you that. I mean, seeing a person coming back, because what was our main motive? Seeing the, the, the gentleman back home safe and sound. Yes, yes. Uh, period. That, that's the whole, I don't, I don't see why this sort of dissecting into where she was placed, what the Prime Minister said. I don't know, but absolutely. Some, there were some um, allegations on visa ethics in, in Libya. Were they, were they unfounded allegations? Those were, I mean, you mean, you mean allegations? Well, they, really, they were, some papers even spoke about them. Some visa ethics in the consul. But was she charged with anything? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm asking a critical question. Was she charged with anything? There were allegations, but allegations remain allegations until proved. She's back in service. She was never suspended, contrary to, to public, to public or, or, pay, or, or allegations in the paper. She was never suspended. And up to this very day, I can say, I don't know whether she was being investigated by the police or helping the police in investigations. 